we're going to use a ratio table to start this problem. The problem says 20% of 50 is what number? When I talk to the students about this, we identify the parts of this number sentence. 20% indicates the percent of the whole number or whole equals the part. And I also tell them that the equal sign also means is. I give them the scenario that says something like this. You have $50 in your savings account. You get to have 20% of it if you do your chores. How much money do you get? This helps the students recognize that 50 is the whole amount, which also can go with 100%. So we're going to use a ratio table to solve. The first type that they, the first way they can do this is they can say, well, 20% means 20 out of 100. And so I go back to my number sentence, and the only number I have left is 50. Well, 50 is recognized as the whole, which goes along with 100, so I'm going to put 50 on the bottom. In this case, some students might say, well, 100 divided by 2 makes 50, 20 divided by 2 makes 10. If they don't, they might do something like this. 20 divided by 10 is 2. 100 divided by 10 is 10. From here, that might be a little easier math for them. 10 times 5 makes 50 and 2 times 5 makes 10. So they would get $10 out of their account for doing their chores. The other way they could set up their ratio table is to do something like this. They can say, well, if I have $50 in my savings account and that's the whole amount, 50 can go with 100. And so I have 20% left, and since this is my number, and this is my percent, then I would have to put 20 on the bottom. So from here we can work our table. We can again divide by 5 because they both, or excuse me, divide by 10 because they both have that in common. So 50 divided by 10 is 5. 100 divided by 10 is 10. And very easily from here they can say, well, 10 times 2 or doubling makes 20. 5 times 2 makes 10 same answer. In this problem again we would identify that this is the percent of the whole amount is the part. So I would give them the scenario that they have $50 in their account. Their parents told them that they could have $30. What percentage of their account did they get? So they could set up a go ahead and set up a ratio table and they can again set it up two different ways. They could say well I can do a part to whole comparison because 50 is 30. So we can do 30 to 50, and they could do 50 to 30, it didn't, wouldn't matter. And this is a part to whole comparison. And since I'm trying to find what percentage it is, percent means out of 100, and since 100 is the whole amount, I put 100 on the bottom. And very easily they can see, well, 50 times 2 makes 100, and 30 times 2 makes 60. So they were have used they got 60% of their savings account. The other way to set this up is to say, well, if I have 50, 50 is my whole amount, so 50 goes with 100. And then I can say, well, I got to find 30. So 30 is the part, so it's going to go ahead and go on the top. So we'll put 30 over here. And I have to work my table to get to 30. So I'm going to go ahead and divide by 10. So 10, 50 divided by 10 is 5. 100 divided by 10 is 10. From here, some students might see 5 times 6 to get to 30. If they don't, they could double it and get 10 and get 20. They could double again and get 20 and 40. And then at this point, they could add together, because they're equivalent ratios, 20 plus 10 makes 30, 40 plus 20 makes 60. So again, my answer is 60%. In this problem, it says 20% of what number is 40? To give the kids the scenario again, I would say, well, you have, we don't know how much money is in your account. Your parents allowed you to have $40, which is 20% of your money. How much money is in your account? And then they would be able to identify that the whole is missing. So they can again set up the ratio table two different ways. They can recognize that 20% means 20 out of 100. And if I'm finding 40, which is the part, this is a part to whole relationship, 40 is going to go on top.
So very easily they can say, well, I know that 20 times 2 is 40, so 100 times 2 makes 200. And the answer is $200 in your account. They can also say this, and they can say, well, 20% is 40. So 20 and 40 can go together. So we'll do 20 and 40. And this time, since I'm trying to find the whole amount, my 100 is going to go on the bottom because that's the whole amount. And this, again, is a, um, I'm sorry, is a percent to number relationship. So my apologies, 100 goes on the top. So we go ahead and work the table. We can say, well, double 20 makes 40. Double 40 makes 80. If I, at this point, if I double again, I'm too far, but I can see that 80 plus 20 makes 100. And I'm doing on the bottom, double 40 makes 80. Du uh, double 80 makes 160. I would add together 160 plus 40 to get to 200. So the answer is still $200.